I'm Austin. And I'm Morgan. From Rogers Cowboy Supply. Here today with Tack Room Tidbits. Have you ever wondered what the actual importance of a cinch connector is? Well, it connects the front cinch to your back cinch, keeping your back cinch from sliding into your horse's flanks and making them buck. It's very important in kids' saddles especially. I would recommend biothane over leather when it comes to your cinch connector because leather can rot with age and sweat. Ever had that pair of reins that was just too short? Well, you can use rein chains. They can add up to a foot of length to your reins instantly. Traditionally, rein chains are used to protect a nice set of rawhide reins. They're used for the, to be the breaking point in case the horse was to pull back or step on their reins. Have you ever bought a new pair of horsehair Makati reins and wondered how you're going to hold on to them because they're so prickly? Did you know you can use hair conditioner on the part of the Makati where your hands go? Only use it on that part because the coarse fibers are used to cue your horse. Ever been out riding and had the bit fall out of your horse's mouth? Well, there's a simple solution. If you use clear nail polish on the threading of your Chicago screw, it'll keep it from backing out. We don't use super glue because it's more permanent. You won't be getting that Chicago screw out anytime soon. If you use a tie down, it's very important that you run it through your breast collar or a tie down keeper because if your horse reaches down to eat or scratch their leg, they can step through it. Some breast collars come with their own tie down keeper, especially pulling collars. You can either run it through the D-ring on your breast collar or you can use your own tie down keeper. You simply run it through just like this and then right through that your tie down connects right to your horse. Ever thought, hey, I'd like to use a rope halter, but that knot seems too confusing. Well, it's really not any more confusing than a nylon halter. And rope halters are great training aids and great for horses that set back. Tying the correct knot is very important. If it's tied wrong and a horse pulls back, the ropes can actually be burned together. So to tie the correct knot, I'm going to use two halters as a demonstration. What you'll do is you'll have the long end coming over your horse's ears. You'll come down through the hole. You'll point to the back of the horse, around the back, and through the hole that you made. If the horse does pull back and your knot gets really tight, if you tie it correctly, you usually can wiggle it out. But if that doesn't work, a handy hoof pick comes in and you can pull that knot loose. If you're worried that tying the knot's a little too confusing, you can always just get a halter hook. It installs right into your regular rope halter, and every time you use it, all you have to do is bring the loop up over the clasp. This is it for Tack Room Tidbits from Rogers Cowboy Supply, your place for all things Western. Have a suggestion for a video or a question of your own? Write us online at info at rogerscowboysupply.com.